Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Good morning, good afternoon around the world. It's your boy, Not Locks here. And today I'm doing another lock video on um, another Dreadhead. Although, I have been up all night kind of thinking about something, and that is evolution versus creation. And what is your take on it? Because I'm starting to think that dinosaurs never really existed. And I, and I have a feeling that Miss Valerie June here would feel the same way. Anyways, we're going into uh, a Dreadhead review today about Valerie June. She is a known as an American singer, songwriter, and multi instrumentist from Memphis, Tennessee, United States. Her sound encompasses a mixture of folk, blues, gospel, soul, country, Appalachian, and bluegrass. She's 33 years old, and um, apparently she's got amazing dread. So let's uh, get into it. Of course, I'm going up to my uh, lovely Google search images, which is my best friend on this image capture software. Um, Valerie June's freeform logs. This is my first time taking in her logs in general, and my first impression is, uh, wow, it looks like um, some real true freeforms and why I say this is because look at the shape of them they're flat a lot of them are just flat dreads and this happens more so when you freeform because of the way that you lean on your hair when you sleep and shit let me put that tea down today I'm not gonna drink the tea in today's video it's my morning tea okay guys um, it looks amazing because she has been doing the braid out, which exactly isn't a braid out in these locks, but it looks like she's got more of like a twist coil going on to get those curls so, so luscious. Damn. And she's got some color in there. It looks like the sun would have dyed her hair. Uh, some nice colors. Whoa, whoa. Go back. Yeah, her hair is definitely like iconic dreads. I've never seen locks that look like this before on anybody. It kind of has like a little Medusa look, I feel, when I'm looking at her dreads. Now, I've always been obsessed with having dreadlocks cylindrical in my past. But looking at how freeforms actually grow, I would be more accepting and having flat dreadlocks like this because it does create a different look. It definitely creates a different look than what most people get. And looking down at her tips, it looks like they were cylindrical kind of at one point. Can't really tell too much though. Let's see if we can find some close up pictures. Is this her? Doesn't look like her. Yeah, looking at her dreads is no forms of scarring, no twist patterns, no interlocking patterns. It's amazing freeform locks. And the volume, the volume is just amazing. This is a cool photo because you can see here that she tied her locks back with her lock itself. And her lock is so flat. And her, yeah, her, her locks are just so flat that it, it, it helps tie them back a little easier it seems like it looks like a little ribbon a dreadlock ribbon to tie her hair back now looking at these next photos um, she's got some pretty cool styles going on where she twists her locks together and it looks like she might actually get these curls from uh, twisting them in, into little braid like twists um, you can see on her new growth here though that there's uh, no separating, there's no latch hooking or twisting happening on the top. It's just free form and nappiness afro on the top. It's really great. Uh, once again here you can see on the new growth how much new growth there actually is and the afro texture uh, beneath it. And I feel that that's important to have that good inch or a half inch of new growth underneath your lock. Having them tight directly to your scalp is a lot more damaging than you think 
because it's putting tension on your scalp and technically ripping out your hairs a little bit um, could lead to headaches could lead to alopecia your hair needs that little bit of cushion on the top of your head between the dread and the scalp to be honest um, but looking in this picture her dreads are a little bit more blonde now having me think that she uh, bleached them a little bit or highlighted them just to give them a little bit more color because I don't think the sun can make your, your dreads that blonde over time I don't know or could they this is a little pineapple bun I've seen her pull off looks pretty amazing and there's so much volume she would have just put them up on top of her head and tied it with a lock if anything and lastly um, just one more shot of her, her locks from the top you can see how flat and thick they actually are really good work really good dreads great inspiration thank you Valerie June and thank you to whomever suggested this yesterday uh, it was a really good video I enjoy looking at her locks so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this as well and stay subscribed uh, there's new videos every day and uh, of course I make videos here on YouTube about dreadlocks marijuana and video games those three go pretty hand in hand with each other I find <laughs> and um, the reason why I brought up the evolution earlier is because Miss Valerie June here is a Christian and uh, Christians don't believe in evolution which makes me think that dinosaurs never really existed and it's all one big hoax. There's so many hoaxes in this world that um, there's too many to actually keep up with. <laughs>